This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. One of the most damaging, most dangerous elements of uh, the aftermath of Donald Trump's administration and what he brought to bear on the American people is the reemergence of, well, not reemergence because they've always been here, but the, the widespread belief in wild conspiracy theories. Just the fact that so many millions of Americans believe that there was fraud in the election, that Donald Trump did indeed win and it was stolen, that our democracy is just broken, is a problem. Because there is no evidence. In fact, there's evidence otherwise. And there are grifters out there. There's always been grifters, but there is a a, a panoply of, of, of grifters in the orbit of Donald Trump. The chief grifter. Grifter in chief. And um, Dinesh D'Souza is one of these. Former, I think, husband of uh, Laura Ingram from Fox News, if you didn't know. And a former felon, pardoned by Donald Trump, but former convicted felon for being uh, a grifter and a liar and making illegal campaign contributions, a felon. And he, he did this movie called 2000 Mules, which has been thoroughly debunked. It is just lies in support of the conspiracy theory that Donald Trump actually won the election. And it's not just me who believes that. It's not just reasonable people who believe that it is a lie. Who know that it's a lie? Even stalwart Republicans, supporter of Donald Trump's fascist administration, Bill Barr, believe it. Bill Barr, during the second day of hearings from the House Select Committee, spoke, and I'm going to play a clip here, of him not only laughing, uproarious laughing, laughing at 2,000 Mules and, by extension, Dinesh D'Souza, uh, he goes on in great detail, extemporaneously, to debunk the lies. He explains why it's not credible. He talks about how the GBI, or the Georgia Bureau of Investigation, gave it no merit whatsoever. They didn't even bring it into the calculus because it's so far-fetched and stupid. All it is, is disinformation. It is the furtherance of a dangerous conspiracy theory meant to weaken our democracy. Here is this pretty remarkable moment, not only because the, the, the former Attorney General of the United States, the head of the Department of Justice, is laughing at convicted felon, Dinesh D'Souza, but also because he debunks with great skill the movie. Watch this. He said, you know, this is absolute proof that the Dominion machines were rigged. The report means that I'm going to have a second term. And then he gave me a copy of the report. And as he talked more and more about it, uh, I sat there flipping through the report and looking through it. And uh, to be frank, it looked very amateurish to me. Didn't have the credentials of the people involved, but I didn't see any real qualifications. And the statements were made very uh, uh, conclusory, like, you know, this, these machines were designed to, you know, engage in fraud or something to that effect, but I didn't see any supporting information for it. And I was somewhat demoralized because I thought, boy, if he really believes this stuff, he has, you know, lost contact with, uh, with, uh, he, he's become detached from reality if he really believes this stuff. On the other hand, you know, when I went into this and would, you know, tell him how crazy some of these allegations were, there was never, there was never an indication of interest in what the actual facts were. In my opinion then and my opinion now is that uh, the election was not stolen by fraud. And uh, I haven't seen anything since the election that changes my mind on that, including the 2000 Mules movie. <laughs>
familiar with the 2,000 mules. Maybe you can assess that 2,000 mules, and people are talking about that. Well, I mean, just in a nutshell, you know, I just think the GBI was unimpressed with it, and I was similarly unimpressed with it because I think if you – because I was holding my fire on that to see what the photographic evidence was because I thought, well, hell, if they have a lot of photographs of the same person dumping a lot of ballots in different boxes, you know, that's hard to explain. So I wanted to see what the photographic evidence was. But the cell phone data is singularly unimpressive. I mean, it basically – if you take 2 million cell phones and figure out where they are physically in a big city like Atlanta or wherever, just by definition, you're going to find many hundreds of them have passed by and spent time in the vicinity of these boxes. And the premise that, you know, if you go by a box, you know, five boxes or whatever it was, you know, that that's a mule is just indefensible. By definition, you're going to have a lot of hundreds of this. I mean, one – I saw one contractor said, we figured out that our truck alone would account for six cell phone signals. This was a, you know, some kind of contractor. And, you know, our route would take us by these things on a regular basis. So I – but then when the movie came out, you know, I think the photographic evidence in it was completely – I mean, it was – there was a little bit of it, but it was lacking. You know, it didn't – it didn't establish widespread illegal harvesting. The other thing is people don't understand is that it's not clear that even if you can show harvesting, that that changes the results of the election. You're not – the courts are not going to throw out votes and then figure out, you know, what votes were harvested and throw them out. You'd still the burden on the challenging party to show that illegal votes were cast. Votes were the result of undue influence or bribes or there was really – you know, the person was non-compass mentis. But absent that evidence, I don't – I just didn't see courts throwing out votes anyway. This is – is just more information like like Bill Barr said yesterday, that Donald Trump was detached from reality. Now, I don't think we should be making judgments about his mental acuity or his mental state, whether he's insane or or has some diagnosable mental illness. I don't believe that's the case. I think he is just desperate for power, desperate to remain in power through whatever sinister means he could manage. And the fact that he's trying to, with all of his might, with all of the power of the presidency, convince those around him to also buy in is dangerous. It's also strange that this entire thing has been perpetrated upon the American people with just a a smattering of idiots. Your Rudy Giuliani's and your Jenna Ellis's and your, your Sidney Powell's and your Lynn Wood's. Just a few idiots have allowed this thing or caused this thing, uh, initiated this thing to take hold of American minds. Also given help by the fact that so many people were silent as it was happening. Bill Barr did briefly say a few things, but the campaign manager and so many people up and down the line didn't speak out, didn't do their duty as defenders of democracy. Of, of, of defenders of the United States Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic. And that's a problem. Anyway, what do you think? I'd love to know. You can call, leave me a brief voicemail, 714-576-4054. You can absolutely email me daily at dollamore.com. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time and attention. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. If you haven't subscribed to the channel Subscribe to the channel. (laughs) I'm running out. I'm running out of steam here. Um, Follow me on social media. I'm at Dollamore on Twitter. I am at Dollamore on Instagram. And I am at Dollamore on TikTok. Which, believe it or not, is a decent time. It's pretty fun. Uh, If you appreciate what I do, if you think what I do is fun for you, 
please consider supporting and helping produce what I do here. You can click the join button below this video. The join button. See what's involved to become a channel member for as little as $1.99 a month, pennies a day. You can become a channel member. Or, or separate from YouTube, you can click over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast and help support my show there. That's not just for the podcast. That also supports what I do here. Anyway, I love you guys. I appreciate you very much. I'll see you next time. Until I do, be genuine. Take care of one another.